Hi, I'm Anna. I blog at Blossom and Birds and today I'm going to do a home tour along with Top Styles, show you around my home and also what inspires me. So we moved into this new build home six months ago and something that was really important for me was to make the house feel like a home pretty quickly. This was also especially important as we've got two little girls and we wanted it to feel really normal for them. One of the ways that I felt that we could achieve this was by adding photos and prints to the wall pretty quickly to make it feel less bare. In our previous home it was a lot smaller and we had to really work for the light so a lot of the rooms were all painted white or very pale grey and I feel with this home we could add more personality and colour but the one area that we really wanted to keep really light and airy was the kitchen. So a favourite thing about my kitchen is that it's central to the other rooms and um, what we wanted to create was a space that was free flowing and a really open plan area. We removed the door for our utility room to give that their real connected feel and that is why we chose the penthouse tile which is one of the larger tiles in the collection and I felt that it joined and flowed really really nicely from the utility room right through to the sunroom. One of my favourite areas is a little coffee area that I created and I've added shelves because I do believe that no morning is the same without a really good cup of coffee to start. What made me choose the penthouse tile was previously in our older house we had a polished porcelain tile which I felt was less forgiving to dirt and um, dust coming in from kids and the dog. I wanted a tile with a bit more variation throughout it so it'd be more forgiving, especially being in the countryside now, I knew it's inevitable that we were going to have muck and dirt getting brought in from outdoors. For the bathrooms I wanted to add a bit of pattern and colour to add character to the house. And originally we planned to go for the Berkeley tile in here because we had it in our previous house and I absolutely loved them. But whenever I went into store, they showed me the new Amberley tile, which I really loved. And it was slightly different as well because there was a more soft blue tone to it along with the grey and decided to go for something different and add this into the bathroom. We mixed it with the down pipe, which I think really brought out the deeper colours into the tile and felt that it was more daring in this space. So as this is a new build, whenever we first bought the house, the bathroom suite was already chosen and installed. And it's probably honestly something I wouldn't have normally went for, but actually once we add our own colours and tiles to the room, I think it's now more onto our style and I actually really love it. For the shower tiles, we chose the white metro tile. We added grey grout to it as well so that it wouldn't show up stains or tan or any dirt throughout it. We ended up going for the same tile throughout all of the showers, however we chose different patterns. So for this room we've got the brick effect and then in one of the other bathrooms we used a herringbone style. So this is our spare room but it's the room that we hope to move into in a few years whenever the girls get up a bit. Um, it's also a work in progress but it's one of my favourite areas because of the ensuite. I felt as if I was going for something really different and bold picking the pink sink unit and I wanted to pick the paint colours and tiles to really make it pop. I feel like this is the room that I've probably been most staring in and really tried different patterns, textures and colours and I think it's worked out really well. So the upstairs bathroom is shared between myself and my husband and the two girls. In this bathroom I wanted to add more softer tones and step away slightly from the greys and blues that we've got going on downstairs. So in here we chose the Burgley Essence tile, which is the same tile as what we've chose downstairs, only with a different colour. I really love the bold pattern of it, but also the soft green blue tone throughout it. And I really wanted to emphasise this by then painting the room in a really soft tone as well. Mm -hmm. 